Hey, if you are new to graphic designing and can only make the very basic thumbnails on Canva, I am going to show you in this video how you can create a particular type of thumbnail which is really professional and really beautiful looking, which is widely used by a lot of big YouTubers and you can use this not only on YouTube as well as Fiverr or any other platform or whatever you want as a good thumbnail. What I am going to show you today is just a photo editing hack which otherwise if you had to do, you had to use really high end iPhones or really expensive cameras and expensive softwares like Photoshop. So if you don't have any of those resources with you, only a phone will do the work provided it can take photos like literally any smartphone camera will do. Just look at me. My background is absolutely visible. Nothing is blurred. Anything like this will work. And yes, I am going to use the same software of Canva, which is really easy and absolutely free for anyone to use. What I'm talking about is having a photo of your own or basically just anything you want with the background blurred as much as you want. You can even adjust the blur range and it has no limitation whatsoever as in normal mobile phones and iPhones. And also if you want, you can add a wide border to your body. It looks really amazing. So with that being said, let's get started. So here you can see my computer screen. I am on Canva and in case just for reference, if you haven't understood yet, you will be able to create thumbnails like this with entire black background blurred as much as you want and with a colored border around your body or anything, any object you want. So that's basically it. So let's head on and first step you have to do is choose your image, pull it over and okay. I look like Thanos over here. I'm snapping my fingers. Uh, let's delete that. How about this? I'm pointing to someone. So this is going to be a good thumbnail. So, okay, just for uh, reference and just for ease of your understanding, I'm not going to make a thumbnail over here. I'm just going to show you the photo editing trick. Okay. So the first step is select and go to adjust over here and blur. Increase the blur to as much as you want. Yes, including your body because this entire thing is going to be your background. Okay. Once you're done, I'm going to leave it at okay 20. Okay. And that's good enough. And after you have done this, take this original image, uh, the, write this one, take it from your files and you have to go to this website, remove.bg. If you don't know this website, this is an excellent tool, excellent, excellent tool. You don't need even Photoshop to re remove your photo backgrounds. So just imagine how useful it is. And you have to just drop your image over here. And here you can see I have so many pictures of my own. This is the picture. I'm going to drag and drop it on this website. It's as easy as that. And it is going to do the remaining work. You can see it has done. My background has been removed. And in case it, it does some malfunctioning or you don't like how it has turned out, you can always go to edit and eraser and restore. You can see the brush size. You can just erase as much as you want. You can undo. That's good enough. And if you want to restore, even that's good enough. You see, you can restore whatever you want. It's so easy. I don't like this part, the part of my hair. So I'm going to erase it out. Yeah, looks good. Absolutely perfect. So I'm going to download it. It's as simple as that. I already have this, so I'm not going to download again. So here uh, it is here. It's as easy as that. You have to just take and put it over your previous image. As simple as that. You guys complicate everything so much. That's the result reason why you guys don't get like you guys. Okay, I am stammering. I won't tell anymore. Sorry. Here. So what just happened right now, the malfunctioning over here is that I place this cutout image as a background. That's why the background disappeared. So make sure it doesn't happen. And that's good enough. Select the cutout image and go to FX to add a wide border. You have an option of duo tone over here. Oh, no, 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 no. My sorry. I'm my bad. My bad. Not this one. Uh, shadows, I guess this one just yes, it is shadows click on this glow. You can see it will add a shadow around you. Now this is a normal black shadow. You can change the color of it to white and it's already there. Increase the size, decrease the blur, increase the transparency. It has no blur over here to make it look even nicer. Increase the blur. Look at it. It already looks so, so, so nice. I'm loving it. So that was the photo editing trick. And if you want to use this on your thumbnail, it's as easy as that. You can just put it on your right or left or use a, a template from Canva and use, you can do the same thing over that. It's going to be super easy. And I'm sure that nobody among you has 
I do have a single doubt unless you have skipped through the video. So go back and watch the complete video and this is going to change the look of your uh, thumbnail, be it Fiverr, be it YouTube. It's gonna be a game changer. So that's it for this video. If you have liked it, go down and smash the hell out of the like button. It means a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. And also consider subscribing because every single week I bring out at least one video that has to do with make money online tips and tricks, stuff like this, social media, YouTube and lots of other stuff including cryptocurrencies nowadays. So I'm sure you'll like it.